So away we go for the second half. Cage clearance. Grayson. Need ball to find Andy Tillman. McGrath through for Manchester United. To Dalton. But McKinnon coolly leaves the ball for his goalkeeper. Grayson. Grayson again. Simon Grayson signed from Sheffield United. Forward by Barrett. Chance for Hartlepool. Dixon! Yes! A tremendous strike by Kevin Dixon. And incredibly, it's Hartlepool 4, Manchester United 0. What a superb strike that was. So within three minutes of the second half starting, it's 4-0. So, Manchester United want to hit back as quickly as they can, but they can't because of the superb tackling. That was Tony Smith with an excellent tackle on Paul Dalton. But Manchester United do have the corner. Headed towards goal by McGrath, but he turns away in disgust as that one lobs harmlessly wide of goal. So, the goal kick for Hartlepool. Linesman's flag's going, but uh, play goes on. McKinnon has it for Hartlepool. Honor resists the challenge from Anderson. Gets the ball to Toman. Andy Toman drives it forward. Turner heads away from goal. That's Liam O'Brien for Manchester United. Substitute in the second half for the visitors. Ball played wide for Dalton. Dalton does well to get that ball across. But so too, Tony Harrison cuts that one out well. Backheader by Nobbs trying to find Kevin Dixon. That's Duxbury. Brian on it. Faced by Anderson. Plays the ball to the far side into space. And Grayson unlucky to be pulled up. Anderson. Recovering by Brian on it. Play on, says George Courtney. Dixon gets the ball back to one at, and then his honour is fouled. Rob McKinnon's free kick. Good back flick. McGrath has to hook the ball away from danger. It's not over yet, but now it is because the whistle's gone. Cool play in the Manchester United defence there. Good play there too by Rob McKinnon. McKinnon turns, tries to find Donner, but Anderson crowds him out. But now it's Kevin Dixon away. An early cross into the side netting. Chance with that return ball. There's Nobbs going into challenge and almost gets it too. But the ball cleared. Haig. Clever pass by Dixon. And the shot for goal, but this time it's well wide. 
And uh, there's quite a, a big crowd here tonight who watched this match. Plenty of enthusiasm, as you can hear. In fact, Hartley Cole had been awarded a penalty. I wondered why the crowd was cheering at that far end. Now we know. It's 4 0 at the moment, and Dixon gets his hat trick and makes it 5. So Kevin Dixon scores Hartlepool's fifth goal exactly halfway through the second half after 67 minutes. Derek Brazil taking over at left back, at right back rather, for Viv Anderson. Viv Anderson who came off about 10 minutes ago. Good centre, but well cleared by Hartlepool. The ball back into the centre. Good diving header away by Keith Nobbs. But this is the quality of the Hartlepool defence. They haven't been rattled or flustered at all tonight. They've just played the ball about. And eventually they've got it clear. That's Simon Grayson. No offside flag. Chance for Hartlepool. Could it be six? Goodness me, it can. Six nil. Hartlepool United. And I think that's Keith Nobbs who got Hartlepool goal number six on the plate after a tremendous build up. Hartlepool, and they certainly wouldn't expect a scoreline like this. Hartlepool United six, Manchester United nil. And there'll be one or two questions asked, I think, about the performance of one or two of the United players as the ball goes across from Rob McKinnon that was a great run by him but it was cut out of the near post and McKinnon keeps on the pressure Hot Manchester United just hardly seem to be able to clear the ball from, from defence never mind make room for attacks up front Nicky Wood challenging but Nobbs gets there first and coolly rolls it back to his goalkeeper Ball headed out there by Harrison, just as Turner did in the first half. Good catch by Harrison, under pressure. Tony Harrison on loan from North Shields for this match. North Shields of the first division of the Skull Northern League. Now Manchester United is just showing one or two signs that they might be coming forward a little bit more, but that attack is snuffed out. That's Doig going through now. Three Manchester United players around him, but gets the shot away. The turn is saved comfortably. Free kick to Manchester United. The offence by Simon Grayson, and it was on Liam O'Brien. Liam O'Brien. Chance here for Manchester United. The ball can get across. It has done, but again it's overhit. And McKinnon sweeps the ball away out of danger. Doig keeps the ball in. But Manchester United can't, so it's the Hartlepool United throw. Neat play there by Simon Grayson before he's brought down. Quickly taken by Paul Haig. Nob put the ball over the top. But the intention was good. It was a quickly taken free kick by Paul Haig. Keith Nobbs was waiting for it but couldn't direct his header down over. Late to be held there by Paul McGrath, and that could be the first booking of the night. No, not a booking. Perhaps uh, referee George Courtney 
taking the lenient view. The match has been played in very good spirit. As Paul Haig tries a pile driver but doesn't break the Manchester United wall. Nob does well. That could have been dangerous if he'd lost that. And out will come the goalkeeper to collect that. That's good refereeing. Harrison, as the match comes to an end, and Hartlepool United will be absolutely delighted with this result. They were three up at half time. John Tinkler opened the scoring in the 11th minute after a corner from Brian Hunter wasn't cleared. Andy Toman made it two, fastening onto a bad back pass, keeping his cool and slotting a ball past Chris Turner in the 27th minute. Kevin Dixon made it three after 41 minutes after a corner had been headed on at the near post. Then in the fourth, in the second half, Dixon scored twice more and Keith Nobbs added to Manchester United's agony and the match finished Hartlepool United 6, Manchester United 0.